Hello everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Today I'm going to be talking about how people obsess and fixate on particular love interests at the exclusion of all other possibilities. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell right there. I, don't, I really shouldn't say any more. But let me elaborate just a little. So at some point, everybody bonds particularly strongly with a few people, whether it be, you know, their first love of their life or somebody they, you know, even someone they've never been with but they fantasize over and they lust for and they desire strongly in, in secret and over time you know they become so obsessed in their hearts and in their minds with this person that they, they don't see all the other opportunities out there and all the other potential love interests I have a saying and the saying is this everybody is or everyone is lost chasing someone who was lost chasing someone else everyone is lost chasing someone who was lost chasing someone else and it's just like that, that everybody has, you know, by the time they're 22 to 25, chances are they've already made that attachment, they've already fell in love with that particular one or two people that, you know, holds a place in the, a very big place in the heart more than anyone else could ever occupy. And this means that by the time that, you know, you're past 25, it's hard for anyone who wants to also get a piece in that heart and share residence there to 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 really be noticed and appreciated as much as they ought to because the person that they're trying to gain the affection of has already devoted themselves and already fixated their attentions and their thoughts and their affections and their love to this other person in the past and I think this is sad that everyone has lost chasing someone who has lost chasing someone else because at the end of the day everyone that, who, that is interested in you or everyone that's interested in someone else it never ends up going anywhere because that someone else is interested in someone else and that person is interested in someone else and that person is interested in someone else everyone is interested in someone but usually it's never mutual and usually it's because people are too distracted and, and picky and they've got this this dream that they it's like the only thing that they're willing to really invest their energy in to really take, open their eyes and take notice of and weigh up the merits of and actually and consider how it could have value in their life and if it's not that particular person, that particular love interest, that dream, that fantasy girl or guy then they don't really give anything else as much notice and it's, it's sad it's sad because it means a lot of people end up settling for less at the end of this whole game of you know negating opportunities when they're running out of time and they need to take opportunities and it means there's also a lot of good opportunities, good people that might even be more fulfilling emotionally that are simply waysided and ignored and that potentiality is never explored because people are just stuck in the past people are stuck in you know acting from memory instead of acting from potential potentially what could happen now and future outcomes they think oh well, I remember this about this guy I remember that about that girl I want that again and you know and it's like well there's, there's so many fruits to be tasted so many foods on the smorgasbord Sure, one thing may have tasted really, really fucking delightful and great, and it's your favorite now, but that is not to say that we don't acquire new tastes. That is not to say that we cannot develop new favorites. And really, it's about just allowing yourself, you know, you still have your fixations, your obsessions, your fantasies, but it's also allowing yourself to be open to what is new and to look and weigh everything up on its own merit, to taste a new food and decide whether you like it or not without needing to compare it to all these other foods you've had before and how it compares to them and how it stands up and really I think if you take that approach and just take everything as it comes and appreciate it for what it is worth you know make the most of it then you, you I, I guarantee you'll end up with less regret uh, you'll benefit a lot more from it you'll end up uh, you know having more in life and achieving more you know, good company, love, relationships, and you'll be more fulfilled in the long run. You know, and that's pretty much my food for thought to today is if we are picky and we only stick to the few things that we know in general, especially with love, then we will inevitably miss out on so many of the amazing, sometimes better things that exist in the unknown. And sometimes it's the unknown and it's the new and it's something different that deserves a bit more thought and a bit more exploration. Cheers for watching and keep your eyes open. Opportunities are always there. 
Don't keep your eyes fixated on the doors that are locked or broken down completely. 